Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup haul for you guys. And it's just a collection of things that I've picked up throughout the last month. So they're kind of from random places, a good mixture of drugstore and high-end, Sephora and Ulta, all of that good stuff. So if you want to see what I've purchased, then just keep watching. <laughs> First of all, good morning. I've been loving these daily posts in the morning. I sit with my coffee and I answer you guys' comments. And it's not real-time posting, but I do film it the day before, so everything just feels like real-time and I am loving it. I've made a lot of statements about this, but yes, I do understand now is not the time that everybody is shopping. Completely understand, you know? It's up to you whether you decide that this is a time for you to shop or not. You know, I think we're all responsible for our own money, and for the most part, I definitely have has stepped back with shopping. There's not as much releases anyways, and I'm not trying to make boredom purchases, though in this video I did fail. Some of these were boredom purchases, but definitely I've slowed down on my shopping. So these are things from before the quarantine, things before I knew this was going to happen, but you know, a couple of things that I picked up during these sales. Also, boredom shopping. Anyways, I have things from the drugstore, from Sephora, some are luxury from Nordstrom, some PR, so random stuff. Let's just get into it. So. I want to start off with the indie brand purchase that I made. You guys know I feel very strongly right now about supporting smaller brands or indie brands at this current moment in time because your money goes a lot further as far as helping somebody out, helping a company out, smaller business, all that good stuff. So I did purchase some more shadows from Terra Moons. If you're interested at all, I did a swatch video where I just swatched pretty indie eyeshadows that I had and it was so fun. You guys really seemed to love it and I honestly loved doing that video so I definitely plan on doing more but actually about a month ago I had made a pre-order from Terra Moons on their Vivids collection because the shades just looked beautiful. Just, okay, actually, I don't even think it was their Vivids collection. I can't remember, but I will put it on the screen right here what the collection was called, but I wanted to share them with you because look how beautiful these shadows are. So the collection are these bottom six shades right here, and if you missed my spiel about indie brands, I have learned that they have some of the best formulas in the business, way better than any huge brand can recreate. And as you can see from the swatches, like these are absolutely stunning. I haven't yet put these on my eyes, but truly, I cannot wait. These are such bright, beautiful, kind of duochrome shades. Such a good formula. Terra Moons makes some amazing original formulas, and so I'm very excited to play with those colors. Now's the time to shop indie, guys. I am full in. I have jumped in. I have drank the Kool-Aid. I see what you guys are talking about with indie brands. Obsessed. Uh, this so. is a couple of trips to Sephora that I made. I went to Philly a few weeks ago before everything <laughs> happened, and I picked up three things. I picked up a couple of the new concealers. They're new-ish at this point. They're not very new, but everybody's been talking about them. You guys have asked me a lot about them, and I felt like I wasn't a true makeup reviewer, but I did not purchase these two foundations to try out. So we have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer and then the Dior Forever Skin Correct. I got the Hourglass in the shade Fawn. This is the perfect shade. I love this shade. And then 2N for Dior, which again, I really like the shade as well. I could go a touch lighter, I think, with this one, but for the most part, I like pretty skin tone concealers anyways. I don't care too much about brightening. So I'm very happy with the shades that I picked up. Sometime next week, I would like to get a collective concealer review up for you guys, just reviewing the newish concealers that I've tried out. So these two will be in that video. And I, uh, I don't know. I This concealer right now, I'm not too big of a fan of. I think it looks kind of cakey underneath my eyes. And I am liking the Dior Skin Correct, but it is a very, very light coverage I found. So None of these are knocking my socks off, if I'm being honest, but I still am continuing to play with them, really get my opinions on them. So I was very excited to try both of these, so I did pick those up. The other thing from Sephora that I picked up when I was in Philly, it was just on sale. It was the last one. It was calling my name, and this is just a palette that I happened to not to have. So for 50% off, I picked up the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush in Citrus. I have Daria, and I never got the chance to pick up Citrus because I felt like it worked better on more medium skin tones, but for 
50% off. Like, I really do enjoy the formulas in here. I haven't dug into this one yet. I've been, I just don't want to touch it. It looks so pretty. I'm very excited to dig into this one. It has some very beautiful colors. I'm just excited to complete my collection with these, though. I do think they're probably discontinuing this, but I'm such a Natasha Denona stan that I don't even care. I need to own this before it goes. So I'm very excited about this. I really love these blush palettes. And even though these are expensive, even at full price, they're really great for the value just because of the amount of product that you get. So for 50% off, that value gets even better. So I'm very excited that I purchased this. Last three things from Sephora. Now these are things that I definitely purchased out of complete boredom. <laughs> I purchased these uh, last week. I was bored. I gave in. First thing that I got was the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. I'm going to be honest. I do not know why I purchased this. It was just completely an impulse buy. I remember not being moved by the Tatcha, just the original silk canvas primer. This was an arm and a leg. This is $52. So for me to just kind of have this as an irrational purchase, why? Um, so I'm very excited to try it out. I have not yet tried it out. And I do want to retry the original silk canvas primer because I feel like I could probably use it now. My pores need a little bit of filling in, I've noticed. And so I've been using the e.l.f. one and I actually really, really like that. So I want to step it up with Tatcha. So I did purchase this to give it a try, but I don't know. $52 is a lot just to give it a try. So <laughs> this better work because I purchased it and I'm not going to return it. And then I also picked up the new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I got mine in the shade 4.5, which is a pretty good match as well. Today is my first day wearing this concealer. I was very excited because I love the Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a very, very glowy concealer. Again, I'm not getting much coverage from it, but I don't think it's anything bit of a corrector can't fix. As far as the texture and consistency goes and how it's laying on my skin, I actually really am liking this so far. I just don't think it has that much coverage, but this one's not bad at all. I still think I like my Power Fabric concealer better than I like this, but I'm not disappointed with this so far. I've only been wearing it for an hour though. So my concealer video is building up. I just want a few more days to try this concealer and then kind of compare my last couple of concealers like one eye and one eye and then I'll have like a full video going over all of those concealers and then the last thing that I purchased from Sephora was the ABH Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara I've heard many good things about this mascara I got the baby because I don't need to be purchasing a full-size mascara I love my Pat McGrath fetish eyes and my Essence Lash Princess those are my holy grail mascaras but I'm always down to try a new one so I got a little baby I'm not gonna try it quite yet because I do have a little slew of open mascaras right now that I want to get through. I want to say in a couple weeks, I would definitely be trying this out. And I love that even though it's a new mascara, it came in a mini size. I love when they do that. Usually they wait till the product's been out for a while to release a little travel size. So so happy that they did that from the beginning for people like me who like to purchase the babies. Okay, so another purchase that I didn't need to make. I let you guys know on my community tab about the Nordstrom sale where they were having 25% off of beauty. Everything on the website really beauty specifically was what I linked you guys to which by the way if you do want to keep up to date with sales that I think you guys might be interested in or products that are just releasing that I think you guys would be interested in on my community tab I do always post a link there it is an affiliated link but I mean you don't have to click it if you don't want to that's fine but if you are interested on getting that type of information instantly if you turn my notification bell on you will get notified of like every time I post a sale or something on the community tab so I don't know I know a a lot of my subscribers already do it but in case you didn't know and you don't want to miss out on the next time you can get luxury beauty for 25% off I'm just I'm just saying anyways <laughs> so I was resisting that sale Saks, Neiman's all of those places also had sales but I'm a Nordy's girl most of the time and I wasn't gonna buy anything from the sale I caved though 25% off such a good deal so I picked up one Charlotte Tilbury quad you guys know I've kind of been obsessing over them lately her and Tom Ford so I got one that I didn't have and you guys were asking me a lot about this quad so I picked it up and this is the queen of glow and I have to say it is very very pretty it's not necessarily unique but what is from Charlotte Tilbury you know this particular quad from what I can tell seems to be very medium to deep skin girl friendly I tested it on my mom who has a medium complexion I just think this is a good one if you aren't fair and you're looking for a good Charlotte Tilbury option so I've been eyeing this palette I finally caved it I'm happy I waited because I got it on 25% off but I finally got the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 the original latte palette one of my all-time favorite palettes 
palettes as far as everyday goes and this kind of looks the same but I I needed to have it it is such a pretty palette the colors are so beautiful I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet but I love her neutral tones I think she does a great job picking out her neutral shades and her palettes in general I really do enjoy it's not a brand that I pick up every palette from you know but if the palette does intrigue me or if the product does intrigue me I will pick it up so I have been eyeing this palette for a long time so I'm happy that I finally got to pick it up I also have had some fun at the drugstore I picked up just a few things that I saw at Ulta that kind of caught my eye I've been wanting to try this so bad this is the Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions mascara I've never seen this in person I was so excited to see it at my Ulta obviously this was weeks ago because Ulta has been closed I think it's Kathleen lights that always talks about this mascara but I've seen things about this mascara everywhere and I'm always down to try a new mascara to see if it's the next best thing in my collection I haven't opened it yet I don't want to but it's supposed to be like one of those tubing mascaras which I've also never tried so I'm ecstatic to try this this may be the next mascara that I open when my benefit roller lash runs out very very excited to give this one a go I also just picked up a regular elf 16 hour camo concealer the reason being you guys always ask me about this concealer and my thoughts on it and I do have it I think it's pretty dry but the color that I have is just so light on me that I feel like I really can't give it a fair chance so I bought a color that is darker so I'm gonna mix them and see if I can really get a true opinion on the concealer I'm sure it's still drying but I think I will like it better if it was not so white on me so I got the shade medium beige and this seems to be a much better color from the tube it does look like it's going to be dark but that's okay because I can mix it with my light shade so I'm excited to give this concealer a fair chance now this isn't a new concealer but I will update you in my concealer video about how this works for me now that I have it in a better shade that's going to work for me and then I also do have the dewy version as well that will be featured in that concealer video and I've been wanting to try these I've never tried these from Colourpop so I just picked up two colors that randomly at my Ulta whatever they had available because the stock in Colourpop at my local Ulta is horrible but I've always wanted to try their sticks so I got a blush stick in the shade 25.8 that looks really beautiful I like that color this is like a pink color with a little bit of peachy orange undertones to it so we'll have to give that one a go and then I got a highlight stick which normally I'm not a big fan of cream highlighters I'm a powder girl all the way but this is in the shade earth so we will have to give this one a go as well just to be fair and to give the formula a good try but they both look very pretty. I think I did a good job picking the colors. So if I like these, I definitely plan on picking up more of these because I just, I love owning ColourPop, but I haven't tried these formulas yet, so I was very, very curious. I also have heard endless good things about this palette. I don't believe in drugstore eyeshadows. All of the experiences that I've had with drugstore eyeshadow palettes have just been subpar, honestly. So I've heard a lot of good things about this Maybelline Nudes of New York palette, and I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's really, really pretty. I haven't used it yet on my eyes but I have high hopes for it because the reaction to this palette seems to be very good and I am always looking to confirm good drugstore products for you guys even though I'm a majority luxury channel I love when drugstore makeup works I really really do so this looks very pretty I really like the colors it looks great for everybody truly just these beautiful neutral tones and looking at them in the pan they're looking good because I feel like drugstore eyeshadows you can look at them and tell that they're drugstore they just have this weird press and consistency to them this one doesn't really have that so so far we'll see we'll see you know what let me feel them I haven't swatched these yet let me mm, okay okay let's I don't know I don't know guys these shimmers seem a little dry Ooh. Oh my gosh, that matte though just swatched so smooth. I'm intrigued. And then the last thing that I got from Ulta is from Ardell. And I've already mentioned these in my March favorites, but this is another style that I wanted to show you. I picked up 424. These ones have a little bit more wispiness to them. They're less thick, but they're more fluffy. I haven't tried this style yet, but I'm very excited. If you're looking for really nice, natural false lashes that have some fluff to them, so they seem a little bit more expensive than they actually are, the Ardell Naked Lashes line is really, really good. I've been enjoying that line. Oh, 
The last thing from the drugstore that I got was I picked up this Milani lip gloss in the shade Semi Charmed. I just like how big the packaging is. It's really big and round and I got this beautiful mauve shade. I haven't tried this yet, but I love glosses. Luxury, high-end, affordable, it doesn't matter. I love a good gloss and I just feel like this is going to be good. I can feel it. Okay, and then the last few things that I want to show you guys are from PR. And of course, I'm very blessed to sometimes receive PR and I'm very appreciative. So the first one is from Good Molecules and this is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I've been very into skincare recently. I've been really looking into ingredients of products and trying to get a nice routine going for myself. I have commitment issues when it comes to skincare because I do like skincare, but I'm a serial skincare user. So I will just try one and then I'll try another one the next day. I don't actually have a set routine. I'm going to see how I can incorporate this. I've been trying to improve my skin. It seems to be working. I've been controlling the products that I've been using on my skin. So this is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder and it's called an exfoliating powder because, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's actually powder on the inside. Ooh, I'm so excited and I just love the bright colors of Good Molecules. The price point of Good Molecules is there. So definitely look into their range. They do have a very nice range. And the last package that I got yesterday, I was so excited about this. So Milani actually sent me PR and I'm very excited about that. They've never sent me PR before. And Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. They are by far one of the strongest drugstore brands in my opinion as far as quality and packaging goes. They sent me their Ludicrous Lights collection, which you guys, these look so stunning. So this is Peachella, which I guess is a play on Coachella. Look at this crazy highlighter. This is Lala Pablusa. I haven't swatched these yet. Let's see. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so fun, especially since I'm into these pastel, weird, springy makeup vibes right now. Pinkaboo. These are just cool. These look like products that I'm not cool enough to use, but these are duochrome highlighters. There's three of their lid toppers also in this collection, and these all correspond with the highlight colors. So it's three different types of the same shade. And then the last part in that collection are these really neat duochrome glosses. Oh my gosh. How cool are these? Let me try this pinky purple one. This is the pinkaroo on my lips. Oh, these smell super good. I don't know what that smell is, but I like it. Ooh, do you see that? That's really pretty and that goes perfectly with my duochrome eyes. Side note, this is really random, but I barely buy new clothes because I'm a PE teacher. I wear gym clothes every day, but I did make an order off American Eagle. I talked about this in yesterday's video. Everything was 50% off for like a day. And look at this top that I bought. It's so cute. Now, I don't know if the sale's still going on, but I love this shirt, American Eagle. So cute. Feels nice to have some new cute clothes. I'm in a chatty mood today. If you're not shopping right now, I hope maybe you could vicariously live through this video. If you are shopping right now, I hope maybe I inspired you to look at some new cool things. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful in one way or another. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you guys take the time to do so. I am posting six days a week. I'm trying to make Sunday my break day. Don't hold me to that, okay? Anything can happen, but that is my goal for myself right now and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay healthy. Stay at home and make the best of what we have right now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.